Oh wow, did it come? Hope this is what I've been waiting for. Well howdy folks, uh, Francis here with the uh, Texas Roadrunner channel. And you saw the uh, Amazon box outside and what was inside that box was this box right here. Can you tell what it is? It is a Cucina Pro Pizza Stone. And the dimensions are uh, 16 inches by 14 inches by 3 quarter inches. You're probably wondering, and inside this box was the actual pizza stump. So, um, here's the reason I purchased it. A couple weeks ago, Mike Chavez from the uh, Cooking and Fishing with Mike Chavez channel on YouTube did a, um, a demonstration on an open face sandwich on his pit bull grill. And he did make mention that, you know, you could probably do pizzas like this on flat bread. That's right, he used flat bread. And, uh, well, I want to do the same thing, but instead of a open face sandwich, I really want to do pizza this time. So, I actually got the uh, pizza stone, and, um, but there's one more step we have to do before we can use it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to pick up my sister from the uh, Hobby Airport in Houston the other day and I, was, I told her about what was going on and the first thing she asked, well, do you have to season it? And uh, I go, I don't know. Um, it came with no instructions at all. So she said, well, you know, get on the internet and do some queries and well, I went on YouTube we found a couple of uh, videos that showed various ways to season it and I'm going to show you how we decided to season it before we put it to use. Okay folks, uh, last night we already um, washed the stone um, pizza, um, whatever you want to call it. And uh, right now we're going to uh, finish the seasoning off by uh, saturating the stone with olive oil. Hopefully we have enough. If we don't, then on the other side, we'll probably use vegetable oil. And in one of those videos that I saw on how to stain it, this one guy did like six coats. So we'll see how much oil that we have, and I'll let you know how many coats we were able to do. So all we did was pour the, um, uh, uh, the olive oil on the stone, and we're just rubbing it in. So it looks like this is our second coat here. And we may have to do this um, flatbread pizza thing in the oven because I measured my grill. It's a little too small as far as depth is concerned, but I do have an idea. Maybe we can still do it on the grill. Okay, now my sister Deborah is doing the other side. This is the first coat of the second side, or the, well, the other side. Coat. Okay, now Deborah's putting the second coat on the other side. Um, this stone really does um, soak that oil in. Okay, we've done about three coats of olive oil on both sides and we're going to go ahead and place it in um, the oven and from what we uh, research on the internet or mainly YouTube once we put it in the oven we're going to uh, heat the oven up for um, was it 450 or 425? Um, 450. 450 and for 20 minutes okay. well guys I went ahead and set the timer for uh, 25 minutes instead of 20 because you know, it's going to take a while for it to heat up. Okay, folks, what I 
we have our setup here so it's kind of like a buffet prep area we have our uh, um, flatbread here and we have a variety of our vegetables here we have our pizza sauce we have our uh, several types of uh, cheese and a couple of uh, types of meat we have ham uh, sausage and little pepperonis so we're going to um, prep them on here and then use the spatula to transfer them onto the pizza um, stone and right now we are still um, what do you call uh, getting the temperature up to 420 degrees Deborah didn't like the size of my um, my, my small cut potatoes so uh, she's uh, cutting up some bigger ones and she's demonstrating how to um, oh, fabricate her flatbread pizza that she wants to eat. I forgot to open up those um, packages of cheese, so you'll have to. Yeah, and I'm filming right now, Mom, so. It's the greatest. Well, go to the other room. And... I will. Oh, use this the spatula over there if you need to. This is really hot. Okay, one in the oven and two more to go. It's my turn now, and I'll be making mom's right. at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I already pushed the button. You might want to hold it around here. Okay. Okay, it's my turn. I've already put the pizza sauce on here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start with some Italian um, cheese. Some toppings on. I'll do a little bit of um, uh, sausage here and there. Some ham.
Uh, I've got some little mini pepperonis. I'll just throw a few on there. Some black olives. And some of that cheese too. Yeah, I'll probably put some of that on top, I think. Mm. And some uh, bell pepper. Few small dice, uh, diced up um, uh, cherry tomatoes. Some onion. Some sliced mushrooms. And then I'll top it off with some, um, let's see, what was the other one? Okay, the, um, oh, the mozzarella. And now I'll wait my turn to put it on the uh, pizza stone in the oven. Oh, hit the red button right here. All right, Deborah's ready to pull her pizza, flatbread pizza out of the oven from the uh, stone. Um, well, looks like it's sticking. What do you think, Deborah? This is the one of the purposes. There's two purposes with this pizza stone. Number one, to uh, make it not stick, and number two is to uh, um, have an, a crispier bottom or a crispier crust. Well, Deborah, how's your flatbread pizza made on the um, pizza stone? It is really good. Great. I can't wait to pull mine out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I guess we got about another 15 minutes for mine and mom's. Okay guys, I pulled it out of the oven. This one's mine. And I made this one for mom. And so, uh, hey guys, I'm back ready. again. Now, I don't mean to steal Mr. Mike Chavez's thunder, but after all, this pizza uh, was his high idea. Uh, you know, he had the open face sandwich that he grilled on the uh, his pit bull grill. And um, I'm just doing his kind of theme, but with pizza, on a pizza stone in the oven. I wanted to try it out on my grill, but the, the depth of that pizza stone is like uh, a half an inch um, too wide to fit in my grill. So we did it in the oven. So like he always does at the very end, taste test, right? Okay, let's give it the old taste test. Mmm, this is great. Darius came out great. Mine came out great. It's nice and crispy on the bottom, which is what I was aiming for. So, um, sorry to eat in front of you. But <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. And when you see one of these things in my hand, it means business, right? Grilling business. But we're not going to be doing any grilling. Meet me outside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's our uh, pizza stone. And after use, you want to just wash it with um, hot water. Do not use soap. But, um, as you saw, we um, seasoned it with like three layers of oil. Olive oil. And remember, this box, the box came with no instructions. So, you know, 
we got it on the internet, find out if we had to season it or not. And so we thought, well, you know, we better. Well, during our cooking process of the pizzas, and by the way, Deborah put her pizza in for only eight minutes. I put mine in for 10 minutes, and that's how I got the crust, crusty um, crust with the uh, um, bread inside uh, nice and soft. But anyway, um, a lot of what we thought was smoke coming out of the oven was not smoke. It was vapor from the oil. And so, as you can imagine, it stunk up the kitchen, made our eyes burn. So, Deborah got back onto the um, um, internet and started Googling around, right? And there were uh, two cures for this. Number one, we learned that sometimes these stones were pre-seasoned. Well, we didn't know that. Number two, you can, when you're uh, cleaning your oven, you know, when you put it on that high heat uh, to burn everything out, you can leave your stone in there. But again, we'll have the same problem. We'll stink up the house. So we found some other suggestions about putting it on the grill. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, although uh, it's a pretty clean grill, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some aluminum foil on top just to make sure. It doesn't get any any dirtier. And now I'll just put the uh, stone. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Hang on, I'm gonna put the, the camera down. Okay, um, I placed the uh, pizza stone on the grill. Time to light her up. Uh, let's turn on the gas. this going here these knobs going as you see well it looks like I can close it so I think the next time I do this I'm going to um, uh, do it on the grill that way for sure we don't stink up the house right so we're gonna let this um, heat up. We'll see what happens in a few minutes and see if we can uh, cook out all that excess um, oil. Well guys, it's working. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but there's uh, a lot of stuff that looks like steam coming out, but that's not steam. That's the uh, vapor um, coming off of that hot stone pizza stone. So we'll let it uh, continue until we don't see any more um, you know, olive oil evaporating away. I added this little spacer here just so I could monitor the stone, just to see if the stone changes colors or turns black or whatever. Well, I don't see any more um, olive oil evaporating off of the uh, stone, the pizza stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, shut off the gas and turn these knobs off actually it goes the other way and uh, I'm gonna let things cool down and then we'll pull out the stone and take a look at it the pizza board has um, finally cooled down so I can handle it but one thing I've noticed is a lot of um, specks of crud fell off this uh, top rack so I'm gonna be careful and uh, not trying to rub it in so I'm gonna bring it back into the house and wash it down with some warm water we'll let it dry now and I can tell there's a little bit of uh, discoloration here but so it's not as good as new but we will wait for the next pizza and do this again. Um, bye. Thanks again for the ideas. And uh, for the rest of y'all, y'all be safe out there. And, uh, you know, take care.
Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.